Hello peeps and welcome back to Material Energy Hypercubed. I'm sitting here on top of the sphere and I moved all of the solar generators up here. Because up here I don't have to worry about whether they're going to get direct sun exposure or not. I've been trying out different methods of click 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 click. I've been trying out different methods of uh, getting these things to transmit their power and so far the best I've come up with is just putting a constant redstone signal on it. I got that power monitor there, but it, I don't think it's going to do the job for me. And there's no timer or anything like that. And with the with as large a buffer as these things have, I'm not feeling the whole, you know, setting up so that it discharges off of one of them discharging. Because, I mean, these lines can only take 20, 48 per tick. And these things are capable of pumping out these things are capable of flooding the line, basically. So That's not the only thing I did off camera. I have been doing some pretty serious terraforming. Let's go ahead and take the astronaut's way home. There we go. <clears throat> so I went through the entire sphere on the level I'm on. And I put down a cobblestone bed. And I'm currently working on putting down a dirt cover over it. Now, I had plenty of cobblestone because, I mean, mining hypercubed gives you triple compressed cobblestone for days. So cobblestone wasn't an issue, but the dirt is. And I've been actually making dirt using chemistry. Stick a stack of sand in here, and you get... 16 stacks of silicon dioxide. One silicon dioxide becomes a piece of dirt. So essentially, for every stack of sand, I can get 16 stacks of dirt. And for some reason, this thing is glitched out and doesn't like showing me the power level. Anyway, I also went ahead and upgraded my power grid here. I have a hyper energy transfer node on here now, which is capable of holding an unholy fuckload of power. And I'm receiving on frequency two. It is actually pumping all of its energy directly into this thing. That's why it's not storing any power right now. Once this thing hits 100%, if we look back in that thing, you'll see a hyper energy transfer node. There's four energy transfer nodes around a bedrocky mingot. Well, it gave me five of these bedrocky mingots for free. Figured I might as well use them for something. And I don't need to make the reinforced watering can because I already got one. And I don't need to make the block of bedrockium because all that turns into is the super builder's wand, which I already have one. So, yeah. I may as well use it for something interesting. How are we doing here? 99. Uh, looks like we're full. And you can see now the hyper energy transfer node is holding a million RF per tick. Patchy stop. The standard energy node can only hold 10,000. This one can hold a million. So, much higher transfer rate is capable of being handled by this. Patchy stop. Once again. He wasn't doing it until I started talking to the camera. Another thing I did is I was talking with one of my friends on TeamSpeak, Dinblade, who's also playing through this mod pack, and he let slip a little something something about Biosphere Hypercubed. There's a shitload of fertilized dirt in there. All of those ender lily seeds were growing on fertilized dirt, so I went and harvested it all. Now I've got 88 fertilized dirt. So, I got a shit ton of fertilized dirt. Um, I haven't done anything else in inside because I'm wanting to make a little bit of progression happen. <clears throat> so what I really want to do here, no, I don't want to put the ender pearls in there, as if, well, what I really don't want to do, but what I'm going to do, is I'm going to load Nether Sphere Hypercubed. And we're going to see if we can progress a little more today. Let's put this away and armor check. 
My Karmat boots are almost completely dead. My leggings need to be recharged. And what do I have for equipment that I can wear into here? Um, my Exomite gear is still okay. Boots. I have Exomite boots there. Yeah, I've got a couple more sets of Carmite boots, so I'll just swap out the Carmite boots for some fresh ones. Another thing I noticed about this pack is that if you combine two, say, two pieces of armor that have the same enchantment, if I actually do this, if you combine two pieces of armor that have the same enchantment, if you look here, it's showing me that the result is not enchanted. But when you pick it out, the result is enchanted. I don't know if that's a vanilla thing now or what, but... The last time I tried repairing enchanted stuff by combining it together like that, it didn't work. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, because those gas are driving me fucking insane. So, we need torches. <coughs> Not redstone torches. Need regular torches, please. Tinker's torches. There we go. We're good with our weapon. Our shield is holding up. We have our pickaxe, we have our stake, and let's come in here and see what kind of hell we're in for. Okay, that's all chiseled nether rack. So, when I come down here, oh, hello, there's a zombie riding a chicken. Turn on F7 so I can see what I'm dealing with. Oh, hello. Just die. Alright. Let's come down here and see if we can do a little bit of clearing. And then we're gonna run around. Whoa! That is a wither. That is a legit wither firing at me. I don't know why I hit him. Seemed like the thing to do, I guess. I don't know if I'm ready to fight a wither. But I guess we're gonna find out. How long is this poison? Now something else had occurred to me. They go out of their way to give you this witherproof obsidian. And... Mob griefing is off, as far as I know. Which means it doesn't matter if the obsidian's weatherproof. I need to turn down the mob volumes just a little bit, because the gas are driving me nuts. I can't hear myself think. But yeah, it, it goes out of its way to give you this weatherproof obsidian stuff, and, well, mob griefing's off. Withers can't hurt you anyway. Oh, hello. Jesus. Marcel, you have outdone yourself. I saw something over here that looked like it might be a secret. Aha! Fucking hell! 64 bedrock, 64 diamond spikes, diamond horse armor, 64 dense diamond ore. We're gonna go put this away. I don't want to risk losing this.
I think we're also going to get what the shit? Stop it! Stop it! I hear you. Excuse me for just a second. There, hopefully my headset didn't freak out too bad when I walked away. Let me check my audacity feed. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I think I'm also going to try and be a little better prepared for this. I'm going to get some oxycodone. I'm going to put all this shit away. <clears throat> Those diamond spikes are going to help. Potion of water breathing. TNT, blue nether brick, gelatinous slime. I have two potions of regeneration. So we're going to keep those on me. Aspirin. Have any aspirin? No. Dimethyltryptamine. I have no idea what this does. Let's find out. Oh. Nausea and night vision. Not good. Not good at all. Um. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna take my cork, uh, cooked pork chops with me. Man, this nausea effect is just driving me nuts. Okay, it's gone. Oxycodone. Regen potion. Let's go kill us some ghasts. Wanted to kill some gas, not everything in the freaking world. Apparently there's a hole in the floor. That's a gas spawner. That's what's going on there. That's a wither. Hell with it. YOLO. There's two of them in there. Three of them. Okay, retreat to minimum safe distance. Bitch. Okay, something is actually damaging the surroundings. Wither spawner in here. Is that even a thing? Do wither spawners even exist? This sure seems like they do to me.
All right. That's <laughs> sure enough. That is a wither spawner. Ooh. Oh. Not a good time. I can't tell if I'm about to die or not. No, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Ooh. Withers are down. I am a half a heart. <clears throat> well then. enough division sigils? Back out into the fray. I'm gonna die. Yep. Okay. Alright. Um. So. And I just crashed. This is amazing. It doesn't like the godlike sword, I don't think. So let me get my Minecraft restarted, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So, um, I'm not real sure what to do. About this whole gas situation. Um, I know that gas can't destroy cobble, so my current plan of attack is to go down there, try to fight my way through them with my Vulcanite pickaxe, using the godlike sword as a backup if I need to. And see if I can get to my corpse. Because this is going to get to be pretty serious. Okay, yeah, this is not going to work. Something lit me on fire big time. Alright, so here is how we're going to do this. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to get some food.
Uh, we'll get some steak. I'm gonna throw this godlike sword out. This thing is causing me nothing but trouble. It's an awesome weapon, but if it's gonna crash me every time I get it out, then fuck it. Now, here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna teleport to Reflection Pool. And then we're gonna walk over to here. And we're gonna go the whole way down to the bottom of the sphere. And that's gonna get us far enough away that most, if not all, of those mobs should despawn. That way, when I come back in, I'm not dealing with as much shit. Okay, that I think should be enough. Kind of wish the minimap mod that's installed did automatic death points. Because at the moment I have no idea where I died. Which means I kind of have to fight my way through this. I might have to cheese my way through. This guy's sitting just upside down. I never noticed that. Okay. I'm not going to even try going in that way. There, 64 torches. Get some oxycodone, get that pumping in my system here. And we're going to attempt to cheese hypersphere, or uh, nether sphere. Actually. No, while the oxycodone's in effect, I should be making a run for it, shouldn't I? Oh, stupid cat! Stop it! Stop it! Enough! You guys have been fighting all day. Stop. <sighs> Two of my cats have decided they really don't like each other. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna die again. Even with this oxycodone on, I can't take the baby zombie. And he can get through. I need armor of some sort. I still have my car, my chest plate. I'm gonna put that back on. I have this car, my helmet. I'm gonna put that back on. This armor does not have much durability left. But. Hopefully, it'll be enough. 
Aetherx sword for plus six or a Spectre sword for plus eight. I'll take the Spectre sword. Seems fitting. Okay, now. I'm pretty sure where I died is actually just about under here. So I might be able to achieve this. A bunch of nether rack. Okay, I'm definitely getting down into the thick of this. The fire here, okay, I'm on the level where I died. Not good. Army of undead chasing after me. Like literally just an army of them. myself a little bit of breathing time. wouldn't be terribly difficult if I had my normal equipment. It's the fact that I don't have my normal equipment that's screwing me up here. Try it this way. Hi, how are you? Feel about this? How do you feel about the molten adamantite?
Again, not a big thing if I have my normal equipment, because my normal equipment includes a bow. I see two possible plans of attack here. Plan of attack one is that I come back up to... Yeah, this level. And I try to fight the horde. Plan number two is I go down there and I just dump a couple torches and see if I can get those spawners down. Those spawners are what's causing me the most grief. Plan number three, and probably the smart way to attack this, is I go get my tiny TNT. I figure out where those spawners are located, and I blow the shit out of them. I only have three tiny TNT. I need Sardis Quartz ground up. Pronto. Can we do this in the sag mill? Yes, we can do this in the sag mill. Okay. My helmet and my chest plate are now gone. So we're going to take this chain helmet, and do I have something with blast protection on it? That would be amazing. No, I don't. All right. One of them over here. Okay, yeah, there's one down. There's a lot of these. I think there's one here. Yes.
Okay, Tiny TNT is blowing a hole in the floor as I do this. I might need to go get a bow. That might not be a bad idea. How am I doing for... I'm gonna go get a bow. And I'm gonna snipe at least a good majority of the gas down there before I even try to recover my stuff. This episode might be running a little long because I don't know how much time I'm cutting out, but I don't really care at this, at this point. So. We're gonna go snipe some bitches. I'm gonna have to do something to disable those spawners. Guys, this is just crazy. I died somewhere near there, didn't I? the gravestone. So I can get down here and deploy a defensive wall. Okay. 
Operation Defensive Wall is the best plan I've got, so... Okay, Operation Defensive Wall is still my best bet. I need to pick X. This will work for now. Okay, we are continuing with Operation Defensive Wall. And I just burn to death. I was not looking forward to the spatial storage. I'm still not looking forward to the spatial storage. another thing that I was originally thinking about trying to exploit. No, this is not what I needed. There was another thing that I was originally thinking about trying to exploit, in that if you unload a spatial storage area, well, graves are prohibited items, so your corpse should still be there. But yeah. Now the mobs are making it up to my defensive area. Okay, defensive wall is in place. We can start recovering some of our equipment. Various deaths. How the hell are they still shooting me? That's how. Piss off. Okay, 
That's a bunch of shit that I now have to offload. Preferably before it all poofs. Or before gas blow it all to shit. I'm not sure if it was the wither that was doing the damage to blocks or what was going on there, but 11 nether stars. Holy shit. Alright. the rest of that. Let's go ahead and block this off so that I can recover this gravestone. Not that there's anything real worth of, worthwhile in there, but... I should probably get some equipment back on here. I should probably take some of the stuff back, put it away. And then I think I might just skip that entire fucking level. Broken Wither Spawner, Sanguine Pickaxe will replace that. There's my good Vulcanite Hammer. There's my good sword. Got a bunch of miniature yellow hearts. Alright. We're partially re-equipped. You shitting me. Are you shitting me right now? I might just say screw this entire level. Um, do I have any torches? Yes, I have some torches. Let's light this up so I don't have any more surprises. Let's take this stuff out of here. I need to get some light up here apparently. And I'm going to put this stuff away, re-gear, regroup, and next episode we're going to see if we can clear Nethersphere Hypercute. So, this has been Night Dagger with Let's Play Material Energy Hypercute. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's definitely interesting, and I'm really looking forward to clearing this area so I can get rid of those goddamn gas sounds. <laughs> I'll catch you later, peeps.